also bothers me because I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. I said, damn, taking all that time, you done hurt these fans. I guess it take a while to put on that Hell's Angels jacket and them Eddie Murphy pants. <laughs> Fuck that mask, I want you to look your killer in the eye. My bad. Brett. Um, Brett, Excuse I will tell you, man, when I saw this dude, you know, I can I can kind of, you know, you can kind of tell if somebody's got it or not. And, and whether, you know, he's liked by everybody on every level, I can tell you he's got what it takes to actually go far. Um, he's bringing something you know, maybe not new, but definitely putting a twist on how he, you know, he brings out his wordplay and schemes. Um, and, and one thing you can say is not much filler, man, not much filler at all, just a plain donut hole in the middle, you know what I'm saying, glazed. So um, I'm really loving this dude's style. I can't wait to see more of him. A absolutely. Let let's get into the the weekly Recap first. Let's let's go. In fact, let, let's stay on the weekly awards. Let's get to the battle of the week. All right, prep versus dot. Here we are again, back in the URL PGs. All right, and we see a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not take anything away from this battle. You can argue that dot has some very basic bars, but you can't argue how he spit them, and it still makes for like a like a B. B plus battle in terms of quality level. Stro Dot has the crew from Best Stuy gassing them up on this one. Something that the bar of the week alluded to. You brought your team. I honor you for that. But in the end, Dot clearly not on the level of Prep's penmanship. Techmaster Stro, you know, you almost beat me down to get me to watch this one. You know I was going to watch it. It took me a couple of days to catch it, but I agree with you. Prep definitely on a different level. Dot gassed up a lot of basic bars with the impact of his team sounding like money ball bars, but not so. Yeah, man, I wanted you to catch it because mainly mainly because we watch so many battles that it's not very often that you see someone who stands out amongst the slew of MCs. We're not three, four, five years ago when you kind of just had a, a, a consistent stable of MCs who produce consistently good battles on, on a regular. You know, Smack kind of reigned supreme at that time, and you just had a couple of names that you knew well, and you waited for those battles to drop. And I'm going to mention Grind Time, too. They had some stuff going on. Um, and you kind of just waited for the battle to drop. You knew it was going to be dope, and it came out. But now you have so many leagues. We literally watch all of these leagues. Um... So I was excited about you seeing prep. Also bothers me because I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. I said, damn, taking all that time, you done hurt these fans. I guess it take a while to put on that Hell's Angels jacket and them Eddie Murphy pants. Ain't you see that I'm the real nigga? Why? Fuck that mask. I want you to look your killer in the eye.